If you want to support the channel, we have t-shirts and other merch right there in the description. Just hit the link. Before the air cool walk, the solitude, the, the zigzag lightning, play the games in the universe. I know before there was a win of where, or a thin of there. I know, I know before the foundation of the earth was laid. Open your Bibles now to Joshua chapter 4. Joshua chapter 4, these are the recorded words. And it came to pass when all of the people were clean passed over Jordan, that the Lord spake unto Joshua, saying, Take you twelve men out of the people, out of every tribe, a man. And command ye them, saying, Take ye hence out of the midst of Jordan, out of the place where the priest's feet stood firm, twelve stones, and ye shall carry them over with you, and leave them in your lodging place where ye shall lodge this night. Then Joshua called the twelve men whom he had prepared for for the children of Israel, out of every tribe, amen. Joshua said unto them, Pass over before the ark of the Lord your God in the midst of Jordan, and take ye up every man of you a stone upon his shoulder, according to the number of the tribes of the children of Israel, that this may be a sign among you that when your children ask their fathers in times to come, saying, What mean ye by these stones? Then ye shall answer them that the waters of the Jordan were cut off before the ark of the covenant of the Lord when it passed over Jordan, and the waters of Jordan were cut off and these stones shall be a memorial unto the children of Israel forever. My subject, where did you get these stones? Where did you get these stones? In the passage of Israel through the midst of the Jordan and the picking up of the twelve stones, huge stones, because we are told that they put them on their shoulder and brought them out of the Jordan and built an altar at Gilgal and there the memorial commanded by the Lord was built. And in the midst of the Jordan, Joshua pulled together another 12 stones and built a memorial right in the midst of the Jordan. And as the Jordan waters commence to flow as it came from the Sea of Galilee north down the Jordan River stream into the Dead Sea. This memorial is now in the midst of Jordan until this day as a memorial to testify to the fact that one day God blessed and brought us across this Jordan on dry ground. A memorial is important to every person. You celebrate certain days 
in your life, such as your first anniversary, your second anniversary, your wedding anniversary, your birthday, these are memorial days to you. And they are important days. They are so important until the wife gets upset when her husband forgets. And he gets upset when his wife forgets. Because it's an important memorial in the life of the two people. Except for those who wished it had never happened. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, here in the life of Israel, there was to be a memorial a monument, something to remember, something to go back to, something to recall, something to fix in their minds that the story is to be told over and over again and their children are to receive this story. They are to teach their children what the stones mean so that the children can repeat it to their children and tell everybody throughout every generation what happened to us when we crossed Jordan on dry ground. In our nation we have many memorials, monuments. A city of memorials, our past presidents, you can go there and see some of them and their memorials. Beautiful, beautiful stone memorials built out of cut stones. Beautiful monuments cost millions and millions of dollars. They will stand forever to remind America where she came from. Every Christian needs a memorial. Hallelujah. Something to remind you where you came from. Something to remind you how you got here so that you don't forget how you got over. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's why every person who forgets his birth in the kingdom of God usually backslides. If you can remember how you fought the devil, how you prayed and how you cried and how you said hallelujah and how you said thank you Jesus how you agonized and begged God to set you free or to heal your body or to break the yoke of the enemy if you can remember your struggle of being set free. If you can remember. Who loosed you? Hallelujah. If you can remember. Hallelujah. How you crossed. Your journey. How you. Eradicated the past and brought about a new future into your life. If you can remember, then you must remember. Hallelujah. Thank you. If you don't remember, you will backslide. The Lord told Israel, say, remember the whole of the pit from whence you were dug. Remember the rock 
from which you were hewn. Always remember who got you out of the mess you were in. Oh, hallelujah. Always. Hallelujah. Thank you. If you can remember, you are not out to backslide. These folk who let go slide back into sin, they have forgotten how they got over. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. You see, some of us wasn't that kind of a sinner that was doing some of everything. Some of us were that kind of sinner that we were doing everything. And some of us were that kind of sinner we were doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We hadn't got a hook good, you know. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Satan hadn't gotten a hook to us. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. We were that kind of a sinner, but we were still a sinner. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. It just didn't take as much for us to get loose from what was holding us. Praise the Lord. And whenever I see a dope addict, whenever I see somebody on crack cocaine, whenever I see someone that's an alcoholic, oh, hallelujah, a gambler, an habitual gambler, when I see people that comes out of the rank and file of sinners, folks that no one believed could change, Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. Such sinners until you were a stinking sinner. Praise the Lord. I'll clear that up a little later. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That type of sinner that everybody thought was going to hell. Praise the Lord. Never will be saved. And then all of a sudden, you see them sitting in a congregation somewhere. Praise the name of our Lord. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sitting in a congregation. Got the nerve to have a tamarind in the hand. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. Got the nerve to be clapping the hand. And then got the nerve to be saying, Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> hallelujah. The sinners out there talking about him said, so where's Joe? So where's Joe? So he used to be here. Where's Joe? Somebody say, you know, he went over there to that sanctified church. Hey, the name of our Lord. <laughs> and got sanctified. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Now, Joe has stones that he picked up as he passed across his journey. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, sir. Picked up some memorial stone so he could tell folks where he came from. Oh, yes, hallelujah. So he could show folks where he came from. Now some stories are not believable. Some st stories that folks tell, they just don't sound true. They are too fantastic to be true. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. A lady came in my prayer line in Columbia 
about a month ago. And she came in the prayer line with a walker. Hallelujah. And I said to her, what are you doing in this prayer line? She said, I came here to be healed. Hallelujah. Thank you. And she said it with an attitude. <laughs> I said, this woman means business. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I said, you believe the Lord is a healer? She said, I wouldn't be standing up here. I didn't believe God was a healer. <laughs> I said, all right, I'm going to pray for you right now. <laughs> Well, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And as I anointed her, praise the Lord, hallelujah, and prayed for her, she was holding on to her walker because she couldn't balance herself. And this Holy Spirit began to anoint her. And she felt herself losing her walker. And she kept reaching. And, and somebody was keep pulling the walk away from it. Praise and she kept reaching for this walk. And she kept reaching and reaching for this walk. And she all of a sudden realized, I'm walking without my walker. Praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And when she realized that God had healed her, and that she didn't need that walker, she took off. Praise the name of our God, hallelujah. There's some things in life you dare not forget. You dare not forget certain things that God has done for you. You dare not forget. If you forget it, you lose your anointing. If you forget it, you lose the Holy Ghost. If you forget it, the Lord will turn his back on you. Praise that that's why Pentecostal folk got to remember, praise the Lord, your memorial that God has given you. What do you think other tongues are? Other tongues is only a memorial. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't you remember when you first spoke? Don't you remember when he took your language? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And give you a new language to speak? Don't you remember that? If you forget that, you'll lose your Holy Ghost. Your sign is your tongues. Your memorial is your tongues. You can say to hell, I spoke in tongues. Oh, I... Thank you, sir. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. Everybody needs to remember something about your past. Oh, hallelujah. If you forget it, you slip. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. You should never forget that. It brought the Holy Ghost into your life. Same thank you, Jesus. You should never forget that. It brought the Holy Ghost into your life. Terry, you should never forget it. Hallelujah. Thank you. You know it. That the Lord wanted a memorial pitched in Gilgal. Yeah. And no matter where Israel went to fight on the battlefield, when the battles were over, they would go back to Gilgal. And remember how they got here. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Every once in a while, each of us need to have a Pentecost in our personal lives. Oh, yes, you do. Some of y'all don't say hallelujah no more. Some of y'all don't say thank you, Jesus, no more. 
You're too sophisticated. Sitting in a Pentecostal church looking like a Presbyterian. Thank you, Jesus. Look like what you're supposed to look like and act like what you're supposed to act like. If you've been redeemed, you ought to say so. Oh, hallelujah. Is there anything wrong with saying I've been redeemed? That's what the devil wants us to do, to be ashamed of the fact that we've been redeemed. Be ashamed of the anointing that we have. Ashamed of the joy that we have. So he can glue us to a seat. Praise the Lord and make you look like what you used to look like. Praise the name of our God before the Lord saves you. Thank you, Jesus. But you've got to tell that demon, I cross my church. Praise the name of our God. And I'm not going back to Egypt. Oh, praise his name. I left Egypt never to go back. I left Egypt never to go back. I left Egypt because I didn't want to be a slave. I wanted to be a freeborn. I wanted to be a citizen of the kingdom of God. I left Egypt because God broke my chains. God set me free. I left Egypt because God loosed me. Praise the name of our God. And I'm not going to sit here, praise the Lord, and let my joy run out. If I let my joy run out, I'll go back to Egypt for cucumbers, leeks, and garlic, and onion. I left cucumbers. I left garlic and fish and leeks. I'm eating T-bone and porterhouse. So large. Praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. And I'm going to remember how I got over. I'm going to praise God for how he brought me. Oh, how shall I yet tell Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Always remember what these songs mean. Always remember what they mean. Pick them up. Carry them with you. <laughs> Pick them up. Carry them with you. Hallelujah. Don't lay them down nowhere. Carry them with you. So you can always see them. And you can always say, he brought me. <laughs> mm, hallelujah. You can always say, he delivered me. And when you give God the glory, he gives you the blessing. But you're going to have to give him the glory for what he has done for you. Mm. He's been so good to me. He's been so good. I don't know how to take it sometimes. He's been so good. I, I can't praise him enough. Been so good. I can't shout enough. Can't clap my hands enough. I can't wave enough. I can't pat my feet enough. I can't say hallelujah enough. I got to praise him because I crossed the Jordan and I can't go back no more. Oh, Jesus, you've been good to me. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have. You've been good to me. Better to me than I've been to myself. Better to me 
that I've been to myself. You watched over me when I was disobedient, when I was hard-headed, when I was stubborn, when I was self-willed. You watched over me when I was in a backslidden state. Told the devil you can't have her because I seal her until the day of redemption. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For the way you brought me. Thank you. For the way you taught me. Thank you. For the way you delivered me. Thank you. For hearing my cry. Thank you. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. So Joshua said, Pick up these stones, bring them across with you, and let them be a memorial to you forever. As long as you live. Remember these stones. Somebody going to ask you what you're doing with them. Somebody going to ask you where you got them from. And when you tell them where you got them from, they're not going to believe you. But you know, you know, you know that the Lord gave it to you. Look inside of your heart and you got something in there to tell you where you came from. Something in your heart that you have put away. Something in your soul you have put it away. Praise the name of our God because it's your memorial. And all of these folks is trying to cool you off, trying to pour cold water on your praise trying to pour cold water on your testimony trying to pour cold water on your speaking in tongues trying to pour cold water on your shouting and running up and down the aisles telling you all oh, that ain't necessary you ought to show them your stone how you got over God delivered you, how God set you free, how God brought you out, how God opened a door that was closed in your face, hallelujah, show them your stone, show them how you got all, and tell them I got to praise him, if I don't praise him, I'm going to backslide, if I don't praise him, I'm going to give up my joy. I got to praise him. I will praise him. Because he's worthy. Jesus, oh wonderful Savior, do you have your signs where God brought you from? Do you have any sign at all 
that the Lord healed you? Do you have any sign at all that he sanctified you, filled you with the Holy Ghost? Do you have any sign at all that he made the devil loose you? He made him come out of you. The devil didn't want to loose you. But Jesus said, I command you to let her go in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And he loosed you. And he let you go. And you are not going to sit here this day in the Lord's house and hide your song. Hide your sign that the Lord is with you. That the Lord is with you. That the Lord is with you.